In 2002, I was diagnosed, uh, I tested positive for HIV, and I, I, I was living in California at the time. I moved back home to New York a month later. I didn't know where to go. I just got my equity card. I didn't know about the actor's fund just yet. And uh, I went to GMHC. It was the only place I knew. This very, very uh, tough and, and, and hard uh, counselor, and thank God she was. Uh, you know, she was uh, intaking me and asked me, what did I do for a living? And I said I was an actor. She took off her glasses and said, what are you doing here? Why aren't you at the Actors Fund? And it won't be out, but I said, well, what's the Actors Fund? <laughs> One month after diagnosis, I, I met Keith McNutt. Where are you, Keith? Helped me find my doctor who I still have today. Helped me find my insurance coverage. Helped me take care of pay payment for my medications and my tests. This is what you gave tonight. I am living proof right here that what you do makes such a difference. That night, that was the Actors Fund special performance of Hamilton. And I can honestly say that it was a night I will never forget. Now, it sounds crazy, but it's actually kind of challenging to tell you everything that the Actors Fund does because they do so much, and they do it all really well. The Fund has 25 programs and services all designed to meet the unique and always changing needs of the creative community all across the country. The Fund assisted over 14,000 people last year. For example, a young screenwriter in Los Angeles gets assistance in securing affordable housing. A dancer trying to determine what her next chapter might be is offered guidance and training. A stagehand struggling with addiction finds support and recovery services. A musician diagnosed with cancer receives insurance counseling and financial support. The fund's services and programs continue to grow. In fact, there are a couple of new developments that I want to share with you. The fund is currently expanding and renovating the Lillian Booth Actors Home adding 45 beds and expanding rehabilitation services. This beautiful facility will continue to meet the needs of our community as it ages. And on the West Coast, the Actors Fund will soon have an additional presence in downtown Hollywood as part of the Hollywood Arts Collective, which will feature affordable housing for entertainment professionals. And this year, we opened the Friedman Center for the Performing Arts in New York City. This brand new facility was created in partnership with Mount Sinai and is conveniently located right here in Times Square. And because the fund understands the unique and unpredictable schedule of the people that work in arts and entertainment, the Friedman Center has extended business hours. And if you don't have insurance, there is someone in the Friedman office to help you get insurance that meets your needs and that you can afford, which is exactly how I was assisted when I first discovered the Actors Fund back in 2002. Those of us that work in the entertainment industry are so fortunate because we love what we do. It's no secret that it is an endlessly challenging way to make a living. Work often appears unexpectedly and then without warning vanishes. And just in case the usual pitfalls of this business aren't enough for you, we are currently living in a time when funding for the arts is being threatened. The arts are not an elitist pastime. They are essential. We are talking about art and music for kids public television, bringing live performance to rural areas. Listen, you're the choir and you don't need me preaching to you. But by supporting the Actors Fund, you not only actively assist our colleagues in need, but you make a strong statement about the importance of the arts in this country. The Fund is there for everyone that works in this community, those who make the music, write the words, and play the parts that thrill us, educate us, and give a voice to our dreams. Thank you for your continued support.